Welcome people, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Of course, here we are. This is the 244 Street Hustle, only on, or rather exclusively on, uh, The Edge on Ibru Television. So, this Saturday, we are going to be planning entertainment. We will be learning much more about production, by the way, Miss Duke produce. But today, I'll definitely learn how to produce. I love the best part of it all. As much as I'm always hosting artists, Pia Mimi Lonta Kwa Pali Boko Nye Booth, Miki Drop, Mwa Wans, and Tuz, Au Vipi. Like, before we do all that, how about we get to learn more about starting up a production, uh, a production studio, starting up like a talent management, and of course, we can only learn that from the expert, as I say it, Mr. CEO. Oh, good man. What's up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Mr. CEO Hellmind Entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my name is uh, David Otieno Goro, but uh, I prefer David Goro. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so, David Goro. Yeah. David Goro. Yeah. Nice. So, let's get into business. Hellmind yeah, Entertainment. Cindy, okay. What is it all about? Because I understand, I have a lot of talent management, I have a lot of and value my models, kidogo kidogo kona my producer, kidogo kidogo ukona mini beer. Okay, so uh, Elmind Entertainment actually is a registered company. It's a limited okay. company. Okay. It's a record label entertainment and talent management company. Oh, okay. yeah, it's registered in Kenya. Okay. So what we basically do is uh, we, we part of the record label is now the the production and the, the music PR and marketing mm -hmm. entertainment. We also do social media and branding mm -hmm. for artists and models. Mm -hmm. And now the talent management beat okay. is now where we tap talent, nurture, and develop. Ah, nice, nice, nice. So uh, the good thing is, I'm actually, and when we realize you're actually lucky, because you have some of your producers, of course, who are in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So how would you go check them out? Mm. As, of course, you get to show us in the studio in a car, okay, to explain Yaga more about the studio. Cindy, okay? Most welcome. Nice. Yeah, let's Anytime. Go. Yeah, so welcome. Yep. In the studio. Nice, nice. These are our producers. Yep. Terence yeah. Upper. It's Terence. Terence. We have Santana. Mr. Santana, what's good? What's up? What's up? Nice, nice, nice. Indo kitchen yao. Uh-huh. Panda upika maneno sasa. Nice one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, basically, uh, tuwenzi hapa hivi. Nime kwa too many studios out there. Okay. Na nina cheki. There's a comparison between this and other studios. Okay. In the following factors. Because number one, ninaona, it's kind of modernized at the same time. Simple. Like, you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how did that come to be? Okay, so basically what you're looking for in uh -huh. terms of a studio mm -hmm. is uh, something that is simple, okay. clean, <laughs> and classy. <laughs> uh, probably you could explain to us real quick uh, like what makes up a good studio from what you good can studio. see. Okay, yeah. so well, as I was telling you before uh, that, okay. is uh, we are looking for a modern kind of studio. Okay. I know there's, there, there's this perception when in an artist or anyone that when you go to a studio, you must okay. find these big mixers and stuff. Yeah, so you exactly, see, yeah. we once had computers that were this size. Okay, With true. time, we have laptops that are this size. So the yeah. world is going digital and we're trying to mean my space nice. and also try to make things that are more efficient okay. convenient mm -hmm. and also flexible like nice. they're more portable it's true, it's true, so true. with our studio set you can see that uh, okay. instead of sealing the whole room uh -huh. we decided to work with the uh, acoustic panels and okay. bass traps okay that is just to control the sound reflection uh -huh. and stuff yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. in our equipments we also try to work with what's necessary okay. you know you find most studios you find a lot of equipments that are mm. not necessary in 2018 going forward yeah. There are things you don't need in a it's studio. Yeah, what you need are just simple. Should I take you through? Yeah, true. Please. You, please. You, you, you need some uh, re good quality monitor. These are called studio, oh, monitors. studio monitors. So okay. the best in the market are always M Audio, okay. Yamaha, or KRK. Okay. Those are the best brands in the market. Okay. You also need a uh, iMac. I know people prefer PC and my Mac, but. Uh, we also wanted something that is classy and more uh -huh. professional because uh, we are we are, we are looking we are talking about sound, so we want okay. to give sound that is distinct and uh, uh -huh. something that you can feel. You can feel. So the best. other thing you need is a sound card. Uh, okay. Yeah, and you need a sound card with good headroom okay. to give you good quality production. Nice. And besides that, you also need a mic and a good stand. Okay. And uh, with the sound controlled within the room, that's all. 
For real, and yeah. and probably something else that you haven't mentioned. What is this? This is a mixer. Uh-huh. However, we don't use it. We don't need it. You don't need it. Yeah, but in, zile, yeah, in the event zingiri. we have a big band that wants to record, uh-huh. we might need it. Although our interface can do all that. Ah. So uh, what the what is happening in the music production world okay. is that. Uh, we used to have those big mixers. Okay. So big mixers are basically for recording a big crowd or a big okay. band and stuff like that. Okay. So with advancement in technology, okay. Time and stuff. And with advancement in technology, okay. so they try to simplify and uh, upgrade the interfaces okay. to take up the role of the mixers. Ah, so I if you have a good and modern interface, it can serve as a mixer. True, 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 yeah. true, true. true. And that is awesome. I actually love the fact that you can just get yourself a very simple studio and at the same time, when I say high quality services, which at the same time, Pia, is so professional. I really love that. So, uh, probably as we finish up all this at Akoni MBA, or rather, when we watch when you're at Roach Pali, when you many people want to know real quick your challenges and probably a word or two. Yeah, just, just before you Okay, uh, the challenges running a label are mostly are financial. Uh-huh. And also, Pia, sometimes it's misunderstanding. Okay. Yeah. An artist comes, they want to be signed. Uh-huh. You know, there's this misconception about being signed. Uh-huh. So a lot of people don't understand what being signed is. They don't understand. And you see, the world has changed. Music has changed. Nowadays, record labels, even in the world, don't sell records that they used to sell. Because Kitambo kuliko nazile vinyl, do you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a publishing company would make like a thousand copies and be sure they're going to make a thousand copies. So they can give you a hundred thousand knowing that from your sales, they'll make this much. So right now, People don't sell records. So right now, labels will give you a 360 kind of deal. Uh-huh. 360 kind of deal is they'll make money from your merchandise, your endorsements. Uh-huh. So you get it. Yeah, so yeah, the other exactly. platforms of making money. Yeah, so for true. me to sign you, I need to see that potential. Can I make money from other things apart from yourself? Exactly. And also with piracy and what? It's crazy. True, man. That is awesome. That is so, so awesome. And we're just having so much fun over here. Answer to my Lizzie, my name is Finally, <laughs> I love the fact that you're really, really talking too much. Are you an MC, by the way? I'm not an MC. And why are you talking too much? I just find, I just find myself talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. That makes two of us. Yeah. But anyway, real quick, I want you to talk to the people out there. Mm-hmm. Tell them where they can get you. Okay, we are located at Feather, uh-huh. next to Nyayo, Get B. Uh-huh. So you, from town, you just take 33B, up of Gariza Emba. Uh-huh. Just come straight to, Emba, uh, to Feather Estate, uh-huh. Get B. You'll come and you'll find this modern studio. And you'll also find some good experience in terms uh-huh. of uh, the guys that we have here. The producers are welcoming, understanding, and uh, they don't push you around. They will always, they're always easy because they know you're an artist and you have to have that good mood, that environment for doing that great, great song. So, yeah, you're welcome to Element Entertainment, and we are here to take it to the next level. Nice, nice, nice. And like I told you guys, man, in the beginning, I'll make sure that I learn a few tricks over here as dealers are produce. And finally, I'll make sure I do a track. And Mr. CEO, i track for free, i for free. To my listeners, I... Because I know I'm going to gain something from this, it's for free. <laughs> ah, that's a nice one, man. Keep it real on the edge. As you get to learn more about production, of course, also as you get to meet his producer, Terrence, and of course, Santana, who has a galley name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>